Rebels, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my summer essentials. Now again, these are just my personal items and my personal things that I like to use during this time. Uh, just things that I like to gravitate towards and things that I find myself using a lot. Also, I just wanna put it out there, I am not in summer appropriate makeup. I am in full heavy glam right now and I'm gonna be showing you some makeup right now that I think is nice and appropriate and light and not so heavy and caked on because it's summertime, we're gonna be sweating, we want something nice, light, glowy, fresh, but still with a pop of color. So let's get right into the video. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell, and let's get into my summer essentials. So today's video is sponsored by Clab Makeup. I am a part of the Clab Makeup team with Sally Beauty. If you guys aren't familiar with the brand, it is distinctly sold in Sally Beauty Supply stores. It is including myself with other influencers, and we came together to help build a brand pick colors, shades, products, brainstorm, test out things that were good, that were bad, and we all just kind of come together. We have such an amazing group. Our brand has expanded so much. Our products have expanded. The quality has improved, and some of my personal top faves I will tell you right now are our, our, our eyeshadow palettes, our liquid lipsticks, and I really like our BB cream. Our foundation is really amazing too, but we have everything from brow products, eyeliners to different, our concealer's really good too. Our liquid concealer, the Flawless uh, Concealer, we have a lot of products. And we do have, like I said, more newness launching in the future, so definitely stay tuned. And I'll make sure to link everything down below. So since our brand is located in Sally Beauty Supply stores, the stores are currently closed, but you can always shop online on Sally Beauty Supply on their website, or you can also go on our collab makeup website as well. I think makeup during summertime should be very nice, light, and fresh. This is your time to really glow, to not feel so caked on, to have some pop of color. Probably the opposite of wearing what I'm wearing right now, but I guess you could say this is summertime glam if you're not going to sweat and you're in an air conditioned room. For my base, I'm using the Super Goop, and this is the Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. I'm really big on skin protection. I think it is very important. We definitely have to make sure that we protect our skin not only during summertime though, also all year round, that is such a high point. Obviously, you wanna make sure that you hydrate your lips. One of my favorites is the Sun Bum Chapstick. This one is in pineapple and it tastes so good. It doesn't taste like artificial pineapple and there also is an SPF 30 because just like our skin, we have to protect our lips as well. We don't want them chapped, we wanna make sure we condition them because the sun is hitting them as well. So during this time, I love using BB cream, so I'm using the Clab Oh So Fresh Skin Tint. This is one of my favorite BB creams. It's super nice and light, but it's still gives some really nice, decent coverage. I'm using this shade Tan Honey. Now it might look like it's a little dark on me, but it's really not. It's going to match my body. And I love this. It lasts all day. It moisturizes the skin. It doesn't bring out any extra oils that I already have because I do have an oily T-zone, but this is a great, nice, fresh base. If you do have some problematic areas, I definitely recommend to spot correct first with some concealer and then place on your BB cream because you don't always need a full blown foundation. Uh, this is gonna feel nice and light, especially when you're in the sun or you're in a hot area and you get sweaty. It's not gonna feel so cakey and it's not gonna break apart. Now, one of my personal favorite palettes is the Sunset Dreams palette. Now, you guys know I'm really like a neutral girl I don't like crazy, crazy color. I don't know, I don't use color all the time, but for this, for some reason, this palette just does it for me. It has some really nice pops of color, so you're able to really get some really fun, colorful looks, but still keep it nice and neutral. Like I can use like this cream base with the dark brown, but then I could have like a pop of like turquoise in the bottom. But this is the time to have fun, have a pop of color, get outside your box. You guys already know me. Like I said, creature of habit, but this palette right here, Sunset Dreams is one of my favorites. It's one of my personal faves from our collection. It just has different colors, but then you can also keep it nice and neutral as well. It just makes you jump out of your comfort zone. Uh, I love the pop of purple. So many different looks that you can do with this palette. Like I said, Sunset Dreams is just one of my personal faves. There's just something about it that I always gravitate towards. And I show this palette a lot because, I don't know, this is like my number one. And I think it is because I am a neutral person and this is probably the first colorful palette that I feel like I don't have to reach for other palettes as well. I would definitely give it a try. We also have some really stunning neutral palettes as well, like the Get Ready With Me palette. It's summertime, it's time to get spicy. Let's keep things positive as much as we can. For all my wing liner girls, you know how hard it is to not do a wing with your makeup. It's hard, I get it, but try to just slab on a really good mascara, really, really curl your lashes, and just let those colors and glowy eyeshadows and goldens and whatever you're wearing just pop. Let your natural eyes just 
pop with some nice mascara. Now the one that I'm currently using and absolutely fell in love with it, which I didn't like it at first, is the Falsies Lash Lift by Maybelline. This one is super, super waterproof. It's one of those mascaras though that once you start using it, it is a little bit wet, but after some time, you guys know mascaras tend to dry out. Give it like a good week or two and that's when I really started loving it. I almost threw this out like right away and this is super mega waterproof and it is amazing once it dries out a bit. So it actually replaced my L'Oreal Lash Paradise and you guys know how much I love that one. So yeah, it's good. Now you guys already know my obsession with cream blush and I just had to bring it to you again. Whatever cream blush you may enjoy, use that because it's gonna last a long time. It's gonna blend into the skin and just look really nice and natural. Also, if you're in a hot area and you start sweating, I personally love cream blush because it fades off much more natural when it comes from a cream form. And I love the ColourPop ones, No Vacancy and Drop of a Hat. These are two of my favorite colors. They last a really long time. They fade out beautifully. Um, usually if I sweat and I have a powder blush, that thing you're gonna see like a little tear mark and then it just completely erases the blush. You guys know what I'm talking about. That is not my deal. I don't like that, so I love using cream blush. Then next up, I love using a nice bright lip. I am using the shade Blossom. It is one of my favorite pinks out of our line. Now with our line, we have so many different shades, so there's definitely a lot you can choose from. I absolutely love how thin our formula is, but it doesn't dry out your lips and it lasts a really long time. This is the time to wear nice bright lips and I, I'm living for it. My favorite lip is a bright pink, a bright orange, and a bright red. Like those are my top three during summer. So next up, you wanna make sure you lock and load your whole entire look. Even though you have something nice, light, and fresh, it is very easy for it to just sweat and drizzle, a drizzle? I don't know, fade away. So I really recommend using a setting spray. I love our three-in-one closing time from Collab. We do also have a hydrating one, but I prefer the mattifying one. Even though it says it mattifies, sets, and refresh, if you obviously have some highlight and glow, it's not gonna mattify your highlight but it just helps subside those oils. You refresh your makeup. You can use it beforehand to also prep your face, especially if you have oily skin like me. It is a very fine mist where you can keep your eyes open and you're not scared to spray it because you guys know those sprays where you're like, whoa, like why did I jump? It felt like you just jumped into a pool or you got drenched with a hose. Like what the heck is happening? <laughs> Like what in the wet t-shirt contest did I just enter? Did I say we have a hydrating one? I'm pretty sure I said that. But yeah, if you are someone where you have super dry skin, try our hydrating one, you would probably prefer that. But for all my oily people, normal to oily skin, I highly recommend this one, but if you're super dry, go for our hydrating. So now when it comes to highlighter, again, just like the same thing with blush, I think a cream highlighter lasts much longer. I think it just fades nicely, it blends into the skin, it looks nice and light, and you don't look cake-faced. I think glam is absolutely beautiful. Like, I love my makeup today, but if I know I'm going to be out and about every single day, it's just not realistic. I'm gonna be sweating, it's gonna look heavy, I'm gonna look cake face, it's not gonna look good, but a cream highlighter is gonna look just as beautiful as the cream blush. It just blends in, you have like this lit from within, almost like a natural glow about you. So I have the Moon Bounce Highlighter from Collab. This one is in the shade Moon Queen. Now this one is for face and body. I use this on the high cheeks of my on the high points of my cheeks, down my nose, my chin where I usually highlight. Since it is for the body, you can place it on areas such as the shoulder. See how it just gives you like that little glow right there? You can put it right on your decollete right here. Just very easy. It's nothing that needs to be done so precise because it blends in. It's a very easy product, you see that? Now let's hit the other shoulder so that I'm not uneven because I want to twinkle from both sides, why not? And this is just like an extra little oomph if you want, see? It just gives you like a really nice pop. I mean, some of you may think it's silly, but trust me, when you just are out glowing and you feel so good about yourself, it's gonna show. And we need all that, le we need all that level of confidence. We need that level of positivity right now, so. Okay, this, this earring. The back of my earring actually broke, which I didn't know, but we just need that pop, so pop, pop. Also, the good thing with this cream is it dries right away. Like you can put your clothes on. It's not something that stays tacky at all, which I love. I can't stand when cream highlighters have like that weird tack, so this is already dry. So I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to like fan myself and make sure that it sets. It's already done. I am good. 
to go. Now speaking of glow, I absolutely love adding highlighter to lotion. I've talked about it for so many years. I've done it for like eight plus years. It's one of like my favorite little like hacks. So that's why I kind of get a little bit more critical when it comes to body glow, body shimmers, body lotions. Like I've purchased some that are high end in Sephora and I'm like, no. I'm not gonna do it anymore, I'm done. I'm done trying out other like body glows and stuff when I just can do my own and it's a twofer. You can use any of your liquid highlighters and combine it with lotion and it looks freaking beautiful. This one's called Better Off Bold and I like it because we have a pump so you have control. You can just pump a little right there, add your lotion and you are set. Bring it down your legs and it helps make your legs look glowy and just fresh and you kind of look like you're off the runway. So once you obviously add it with lotion, it just blends out beautifully, gives you a really nice glow. You don't have to go and buy those crazy body glows. Add it to your favorite lotion. Glow on, girl. Now when it comes to protection, I know I did mention the Super Goop Primer that I like to use with my makeup. Now, mainly for every single day, I use my Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This one is in the 50. It also comes in 30. If you guys saw my recent Costco haul, they do carry the 30 there, so you can take advantage of that. And I love the Shiseido one. This one is easy because it's a spray on, so I can just spray as I go. I can hit my back, like those areas that are very hard to hit, and I don't have to worry. Um, I really like the scent, it's nice and fresh. This is a pricier one, but I really like it. It has the wet force, right? Or water resistant for 80 minutes. This is also water resistant for 80 minutes. I believe, yeah, so both are 80 minutes. We know if you guys use them, but yeah, just make sure you protect yourself. But I really like the spray, especially when it hits those back areas and you don't have someone to like put it on you or you don't have to think about, you know, oh damn, I didn't put it on my back or whatever. You guys, I am all about the visor. I absolutely love visors. I think they look so cute. This one I got off Amazon, I think, uh, a year and a half ago it has like this cloth material So I always have to spot clean it with my makeup if I am wearing makeup But I also showed you guys this one in a Target haul This was like a while ago and I like this one because it has like this faux leather material It's another neutral shade you block out your face You can wear some cute sunglasses and while you have your skin protection going your glow and you're just like ooh Bam, I am just set. Hopefully they still have it. I'll link some down below even if they don't have these exact ones I'll link some because I think these look so cute and and it's so funny because I saw these in Target and I was laughing because last year I was wearing um, my visor a lot. I used them for my Costco Chronicles and people were always like laughing saying, oh my gosh, your visor is so funny, like I love it. And now everybody's wearing visors, so who's laughing now? Now nail polish, I absolutely love a bright nail polish and I'm still wearing my nail polish today. I wanna show you what it looks like. I've already had this on for one week and it's barely chipped, which is pretty good. Because nail polish chips a lot on me, especially when I'm like cooking and cleaning and doing everything with my dogs. Just over time, it just chips, especially if it's not gel. So the two colors that I have is from Essie. This one is called Lounge Lover, and it's like this really nice, bright, orangey coral. It is so stunning. I think it's gonna look amazing on so many different skin tones. It's just like a really nice, fun color, but not too neon where you feel like it's overly bright because I know sometimes neon shades can be a little bit iffy, but I think that this one is a great shade for all skin tones. And then the other one I love is this gold shade and it's by Sally Hansen and it's a part of their Mega Strength line and it's called Wild Card. Now I usually prefer the SE Set It In Stone and it's like this glitter, but you have to constantly put on layers and layers. And this one is just more of like a solid gold. So you don't have like so many little mini glitters and this is all I have. I have two coats of this. Two shades are probably one of my favorite. Oh, this one matches my dress. Well, yeah, so there you go. I definitely love just like a fun color and I always love like a little accent nail. I cannot tell you how many times I have probably wished I had this product before and this isn't only for summer to be very honest. I would like this just in my car period. Say like when you wear a tank top or whatever, you're at the beach, you're going to the pool, you're going to your friend's house or you're like, Damn, I, I did not shave my legs today. Or say like your freaking pits, my pits, like, okay, my leg hair grows in patches. It's like very weird, but my freaking armpit hair, it just grows. It grows all the time, so I'm constantly shaving it. But sometimes I notice I forget to shave my pits or I just don't bother and I just kind of let them go because I'm thinking, eh, no one's gonna see me. But then all of a sudden I know I'm out and I'm out in public and I'm going to be lifting my arm for like a lot of things. I'm like, no. 
So you're gonna need some waterless razors. It comes with a gel inside, and all you do is you just take off the little cover. You take off the cover on the blade, you give it a good squeeze, the gel comes out, you place it over whatever area, either your leg, your armpit, your arm, wherever you wanna shave. Heck, maybe even your big toe because you have hair on that one too, because don't lie, we grow hair on our big toe. Don't lie to kick it. So if you wanna get rid of that stuff, just use this. It's super convenient. The one that I found is on Amazon and it's a four pack. So I plan on keeping this in my car as well. Just make sure that you don't toss out the cap for the back or even in the front because yeah, you need that, especially the sponge one, ooh. But yeah, I think this is a lifesaver and this is for like all year round. Well, maybe not winter because we all like our fur during winter. And then last but not least, we all like to be nice and tan. I have been out in the sun, I've been swimming a lot, so I have like a nice little like tan going on and I'm so happy because I don't know, I just like being more brown biscuit and I can finally say I'm more brown biscuit. I haven't said that in such a long time. Oh my gosh, I'm just so happy to finally be tan. Like, oh, I love it. But obviously you wanna protect yourself. You don't wanna stay in the sun so much. If you're someone that you wanna stay completely out of the sun, but you still want that bronze glow, you want something that looks really nice and natural, I still swear by loving tan. Loving tan is, whoop. I still swear by Loving Tan. Loving Tan is one of my favorites. I personally use the shade Ultra Dark. I also really love the Two Hour Express, but that one only comes in dark. It's super quick and you just wash it off and it looks so freaking bomb. But if you have the time, wear this overnight. I usually wear it for like about seven hours or so, even five hours, but usually seven to eight hours. And it looks so good, so natural, never looks weird or orange on me. And like I said, I do have ultra dark. I know they have, I personally know they have a medium, a dark, and an ultra dark. I'm not sure what the lightest one is because I don't use that one, but I'm pretty sure they have something below medium, uh, especially for people who have fair skin or need something that looks natural. This is it. I've tried so many and now that I found this, I don't wanna try anything else. Like, this is freaking amazing. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. Let me know down below some of your summer essentials. I know there's so many other things I can put in, like cute like little purses and totes and on certain sandals and certain dresses. Like I said, I think I might do a part two on that as well, more on like the fashion side with like dresses, sandals, etc. Let me know if you guys would want that. Give your girl some love down below and I will see you beautiful fine apples in the next one. Mwah.